My name is Dr. Melanie Wilson. I recently interviewed Joshua Becker on things that matter for the Homeschool Sanity Show. And after I talked with him, I was inspired to reread his account of how he got into minimalism. And the fact is that it all started when he was cleaning out his garage and realized that most of the stuff that he had in his garage, he wasn't using and didn't need. And it was just taking up a lot of his time. I was immediately inspired to declutter our garage and apply some home edit magic to it. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm gonna put links to these fabulous organizing resources in the description for this video. But I had just one problem <laughs> with achieving my minimalist organizing dream for the garage, and that was my husband. <laughs> Here we are at the before of the garage. You can see we have wood protectant, some kind of a bucket, a light sports equipment, bottles, plastic bags, towels, a cover for the, why can't I think of what those are called? I have bubbles and then the screens for the gutters. That's what it is a random bottle. I guess that is sunscreen over there. This is challenging. <laughs> and this is just one of many racks and tables <sighs> and even cabinets full of stuff that has to be cleaned and organized. A confusing array of things. Lots and lots of dirt. <laughs> and like these cases, ugh, just they haven't been touched in who knows how long. So we have our work cut out for us and I see, okay. I was gonna say, I think my husband has done some work in here, but maybe not. So these boxes, all these boxes of screws and nails and that kind of thing. I got into one and I, I hesitate to to check it again. Oh, that's the one, okay, okay. Look at that. Some kind of a stinging insect nest inside this box, okay. So, ugh, this is, this is what I'm up against. I just wanted to show you that we have some progress. We have decided between my husband and me that he will be in charge of decluttering deciding what stays and what goes and i will be in charge of organizing what remains you you can see he he has done quite a bit so far and i will be checking in with him about where he would like certain items to be stored, but I will take over in containing everything and keeping them in an orderly fashion. So here we have the after, and I'm going to zoom in on the bins. These bins I ordered from Amazon. They are just the right size for these shelving units, and then I made my own labels using eight and a half by 11 sticker sheets. And then I used an Avery template to create four labels per sheet. So this is what we have here. My husband's work shoes, a variety of things on this shelf, party supplies in the bucket that I bought that is multi-purpose. You can see that the door needs to be replaced. That is on the agenda. Here is the next shelving unit. And I can take you in to show you how things are organized here. So we have pliers and wrenches, all of those kinds of tools, hammers and nails. So my husband was able to condense the many boxes of hardware 
into just a few in this bin and then we have screws and screwdrivers still probably more than we need but it has been reduced significantly so you can see the labels that we have here nothing on the top of this unit what i am so impressed by is how much extra storage space we have so I cleaned off all of our folding chairs and I don't have a formal cover for them, but I covered them with this trash bag to keep a lot of the dirt off of them. Our camping supplies are here and my husband's business materials plus Christmas decorating is here. Then going down, we have extension cords and then automotive items. All of the bins that are underneath of these tables have been cleaned off. My husband used just these, um, these drop cloths um, to cover up the table. These headboards will eventually go um, out. And then this cabinet I have decluttered. So now we just have tile supplies. We have motor oil. Um, and some paint and varnish. And then moving on to this area, we have my husband's yard work, painting supplies, um, insecticides, weed killer, um, and, and then a golf um, pole there. And then this is how he had it primarily with his boxes and I moved many of the larger tools over to this area to consolidate them. And then we have empty bins again. We have so much more storage space. So there is our volleyball net. I moved a couple of the wreaths over here so they were all in one spot. Not, not together with the other Christmas stuff, but oh well. And then this Besides being the place where we're keeping our lawnmower, we moved our shop back out here. A lot more convenient. This is the sporting area. So I have fishing equipment, balls, water toys, and everything is labeled plus my husband's golf shoes. And we still have a few things to let go of. We have these older plastic chairs that are really discolored that we are replacing we have new ones on order and the garage itself has not been repainted we did not replace any of the um the shelving units so they are not in great condition you can see that the basement i mean the basement that the garage floor is not attractive but it is what it is um, this is a newer shelving unit and you can definitely tell but i am over the moon thrilled with the amount of stuff we let go of and the organization that is here now the labels are in a huge font because my husband has age-related <laughs> eyesight difficulty needs readers and so now he won't even need readers to come out here and figure out where everything is so i am going to um, include a conversation about how we were able to accomplish this feat. So what made you willing to consider doing a major declutter of the garage? Well, honestly, I think it was because you uh, kind of really wanted me to. So uh, I was thinking about cleaning the garage like I normally do, which is sweeping the floor and organizing a few things, tossing a couple things out and be done with it in about two, three hours. <laughs> <laughs> and so it was just my desire. Uh, I will say that I think the uh, garage kind of progressively got worse and it became uh, kind of bad. I felt like I was out of control a little bit. So I guess I was ready for a little bit more of a deep clean, but uh, not as deep as you <laughs> clean. <laughs> But you really did a great job. You, oh, you got rid of a lot more than I expected you to. Yeah, it was, it was a joy to get rid of your bike <laughs> that was hanging there for about 10 years and got used <laughs> once maybe. That was nice, it was a dust collector. Uh, there was uh, quite a few things that uh, over here on those tables that I don't know what they were, but I got rid of them. Okay. And uh, so, yeah. 
All right, so how would you describe your organizing style? Like originally, what's your organizing style? I don't think I really had a style. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'll describe it. It's called where it fits that you can get to it. Oh yeah, I guess that would be it. Yeah, yeah. you're practical. You just put things where you can fit them and you keep the whole categorization or where items are in your head, yeah. right? Yeah, you know, it's easy access. I leave the stuff that I use the most uh, very handy, like right there close to the door. And with not, no containers, I could just find it really easy. <laughs> okay, okay. Doesn't look real good though, but. No, no, okay. So we agreed that you would do the decluttering, right? That right. you would go through everything and decide what should go. And that I would then come in and categorize things, put them into bins if, if you hadn't done that already, label the bins and that kind of thing. And I thought that was a great plan, but we did have a couple of rough patches with that. Why do you think that was? <laughs> because of you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So No, uh, yeah. they were over there some things that I thought were didn't need to be mid shelf. I, I kinda figure that's the best shelf, mid shelf, just like at a grocery store. Whatever gets used the most, if it right there and then where your eyes see it and you can reach for it. And and she had something like a big pot that I was never no, no, it was a container of uh, Cool stuff that they accidentally sent me 25 pounds of it. So one of the one of the issues for you is that you wanted to have control and say so about where things eventually were stored, correct? Uh yeah, yeah. Yeah, because you, you feel like this is your domain. Right. And uh, one of the conflicts for us though is that when we have summer parties, which we frequently do. The garage is often left open, especially if we get some rain, we have to move tables into the garage and it was really embarrassing for me. So I think we were able to work through those rough patches and come to a conclusion about how to organize things. We made some compromises. And how do you feel about the garage now? Oh, I love it. It really looks good. I'm glad we did it. Yeah, and yeah. it has, we have space if we need to store more things out here, which I think is really um, amazing. Yeah, it's really nice. Because before I had a uh, jet ski in there, that took up a lot of space and I had more bikes. I used to have about five bikes in here and uh, just more work stuff. and. I don't know, we, we definitely uh, slimmed things down, minimized things. Yes, we did. So you're a fan of minimalism now. Oh, uh, well, some. <laughs> <laughs> right. I've seen some of the shows, not, not, not as much as they are. Yeah, Yeah. right. Well, I just wanna say thank you so much for doing that. You're welcome. With me and for me.